Hello friends, my name is Amit Bhatt. Welcome to AMD Networking Border Gateway Protocol BGP series. In this video, this is our video roadmap. And in this video, we do basic BGP configuration, IBGP, and use some debug commands and show commands. So first, BGP, basic BGP configuration is enable the globing, global process. This is the first step to enable the BGP process and specify AS number, autonomous system number. And uh, second, we have to establish the BGP pair using this command neighbor relationship, neighbor and address of the remote address and remote AS number and remote AS, uh, ASN number. And this is the syntax and with the help of uh, this uh, neighbor command, it you uh, it establishes a neighbor relationship you, uh, IBGP and EBGP. It depends upon the AS number, and uh, if AS number AS number this AS number and uh, remote AS number is same, then it uh, forms a neighbor relationship IBGP pairing. And if it is different, then it uh, establishes a neighbor relationship EBGP neighbor relationship between the pairs. So here are the some verification commands and show commands to check uh, the neighbor relationship between the peers. First it is uh, debug IP packets and debug IP packet details and debug IP uh, BGP uh, we, uh, we check the different states BGP different states uh, which are six different states idle to establish and uh, debug IP packet detail uh, we will check the three-way handshake establishment uh, SYN, SYNAC and AC. Show TCP brief we will check the TCP connection establishment or, or not show IP BGP neighbor we will check the what are the different peers establishment with the uh, with this help with the help of this show IP BGP neighbor uh, we check this particularly neighbor relationship of this 172 1602 with this help with the help of this command show IP BGP neighbor and the remote uh, peer IP address so show IP BGP uh, with the help of this command we check the routing uh, table of the BGP neighbor peer advertised to us we, we use this show IP BGP command here is the topology which we do the practical lab uh, router 1 is connected to router 2 with the help of uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, using this AS number 64512 the remote AS number is same, so it forms a neighbor relationship IBGP pairing. So let's start with doing the lab and show all the verification commands, debug commands and configuring the BGP. Here is the console of router 1 and router 2. First we check the connectivity between router 1 and router 2. With this uh, command show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 we see the IP addresses uh, whether I, I, IP address is configured on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 or not. Yes here it is uh, IP address is configured on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on router 1. Uh, now uh, we check the whether it is connected to router 2 or not with this command show CDP neighbors yeah it is connected to router 2 within fast the local fast 0 slash 0 and with router 2 so now i check the first ip connectivity between the router 1 and router 2 with the help of ping command Ah, yeah, it is connected with the uh, fast uh, uh, success rate is 100% and uh, 5 out of 5 we have to have a connect full connectivity between router 1 and 2. Now we go to configuration mode, global configuration mode and uh, we fire, hit the command enable the BGP process having autonomous system 64512 and now the command is neighbor neighbor 172 what is the IP address of the remote uh, remote AS is 172.16.1.2 this is the IP address of router 2 
and what is this uh, what is the remote AS number is autonomous system number is same 64512 and hit enter now we have to go to end now we have to do one thing debug IP VGP and debug IP packets packet detail now go to here see we do debug IP B, uh, BGP and go to configuration mode and do one no timestamp right, oh, no service timestamps uh, now we have to do one thing do router enable the BGP process router BGP uh, 64512 now uh, uh, we have to enable the neighbor relationship uh, with the help of this command 172 dot what is the uh, number uh, what is the IP address of the remote uh, router one is 172.16.1.1 and what's one what is his uh, remote AS number that is 64512 and that's it this is a basic configuration of router uh, the BGP configuration so it went to idle to active here there are the different states of BGP here we use this debug IP BGP and here we see uh, it went to active to idle and active to connected and then it go to the direct connected to uh, here open send message then it sent to the open confirm after that it go to open confirm to establish the uh, establish and neighbor peer is up so here you can see uh, it sends the version number what is the version number is here it sends in open message it sends the version number 4 and hold time time is 180 seconds and and as you see here AFI it is address family information and sub address family information which is 1 slash 1 means it is an IP version 4 here you see the different states uh, of an BGP peer and uh, here you can see here the three way handshake establishment and all that things uh, here you can see sin Acknowledgement and sync. Here you see uh, the source is 179.116.1.1, and the destination is 172.16.1.2. Is a uh, source is router one and destination is router two, and uh, the source is the random. It takes the TCP port, random source port, and destination port is 179 because BGP uses 179 uh, TCP port number. And it sends the sync uh, sync to router two, and uh, router two back send the acknowledgement and sin. Axin here is the source of router one, router two, and the destination of router one. Uh, oh, first of all, you all because. sin ac and ac sin here you can see uh, then acknowledgement back to router 1 to router 2 uh, router 1 to router 2 so here is the source 172.16.1.1 destination is this and three way handshake is established and uh, now we will check whether it is established using the command which command we have to use to check whether TCP is, it is up I know but uh, I actually show you that command tcp brief show tcp, TCP brief it has, says me that local address is this and foreign address is this 179 this is the router 2's address and what is the state it is established so here sin axin and sin which we see on the debug using the debug command debug ip packet format debug ip packet 
detail and then uh, we see here a different after that it go to the different states and the peer has been established so this is the basic configuration of uh, to configure the bgp so we see show ip bgp neighbors with this help of this command we can see whether uh, bgp neighbor relationship uh, you can see here so ip bgp summary we can also see the neighbor relationship here with the router 2 here is the neighbor relationship of router 2 and what is this uh, version number that is for using 4 and what is the as number that 64512 uh, message received a message sent here uh, is the tabular version it will be incre increased uh, whether it receives the updates and here is the prefix 0 because uh, 0 is uh, why it is 0 here because router 2 does not send any route updates to router 1 so that's why it is 0 here if I go to router 2 and you all so uh, here we see the show IP BGP summary you also see that um, uh, router 1 does not advertise any route to the router 2 so that's why it is 0 here so if I hit the show IP BGP so we do not see anything in that uh, here route so uh, this is the basic configuration which we had done so we have done show run section section BGP yeah uh, it is a router bgp64512 we go to uh, enable the global process uh, bgp process then we have to here establish the neighborship with uh, 172.16.1.1 and remote as is a uh, local remote as 64512 and uh, this is an ibgp relationship with uh, router 1 because they have the same as number which uh, here uh, our AS number and the router one's AS number that is same because so that it forms the neighbor relationship with IBGP relationship with the router one so that's all 